Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this fourth day of March. Uh, the Dow is up 509, S&P is up uh, 49. Very interesting session. I'll talk about it just in a second. The Qs are up uh, 3.60. The IWM is trading up a dollar 18, lagging badly. Gold is up. Uh, no, it's now down. It's down 1.8. Uh, the dollar was trying to make a bit of a recovery for the first time in quite a while. Nice green bar, inside bar. We want an outside bar. We wanted to be pushing into the 97.80 level, and it's a 97.49. Crude oil, I'll talk about that a little bit more in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Coming up in a few minutes, I had a, a, a question just as I was going off the air. I saw it yesterday. I didn't have time to answer it about crude oil. I just think it's kind of stuck here for a little while. It at 46.99, down 19 cents in the continuous contract. It really needs to get to the 4930 uh, area to say, hey, I've now got strength to make some kind of a V-shaped pattern instead of going sideways. The TLT, this is the most important thing. Bonds still higher, up 0.84 at 157.17. Leg D in the monthly, leg C. I'm calling this a leg C in the weekly chart. I don't see any reason why not to. The stochastic strong, the MACD is good. And uh, we also want to have a look here at, um, just wanted to do this for the moment to say, look, high-grade copper just is telling us that it world, worldwide uh, the economy is not that great. And wood, which is the iShares of the timber and forestry ETF, stuck down in the lower range again. So, yeah, there's been some pullback in the uh, economic uh, construct uh, going out, looking through, you know, geopolitically, let's put it that way. And what I do want to talk about when I do my show in a few minutes' time, this is the Tiger Technicians Hour. Remember, I'm also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Um, I want to talk about patterns that repeat over and over again, and how this very ugly candle in the weekly, this is the middle chart right here, is the weekly chart, that smashed from 29,568 in the Dow down to 24,681, 5, almost 5,000 points to have come back so sharply. What happens next is so imperative to the outlook for March in the market. But I think we're trying to hammer out some kind of a bottom here um, we'll talk more about it when we get back. Hope to see you in a few minutes for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow at this time. Have a great day. That's it.